Hey everyone, and welcome back to another mukbang! <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a great Friday night. We are going to be eating some hot and spicy flavor sabor picante bowl noodle soup. Delicious. Okay. Uh, why am I having this one? Ah, yes, I need to eat this soon. I need to actually go to the Asian market. That's why I'm having this one. Because I have not gone to the Asian market in a hot minute. So, that is why. Hopefully, I will remember for next Friday. And I will go to the store. And I will go get this soon. Because I really would like to try that. Um, I can't remember how this one was. This is kind of... what. Oh, so what I was going to say is I'm kind of going to try to go through the ones that I think were my top. I think I'm only gonna do top five. I don't know that there's ten ramens that blew my mind. Uh, HWA used to be at the top top of my list, but I've kind of fallen out of lust with the HWA ramen just because it is so it is spicy, and it's like when I'm eating ramen, I like it spicy, but I like to also enjoy my ramen. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. And I burnt my hand a little bit with some of the water, but I'll be okay. Okay. Let me give myself such a little, give me some little, I feel like I've had this one just within the last couple of weeks. Just the noodles and the broth. I remember this. Mmm. The noodles are cooked perfectly. And they're more of like a round vermicelli noodle than they are like a flat, broad noodle. Which, I mean, the regular ramens are not flat, broad noodles, but they're flat noodles, kind of square um, ramen noodles. These are more kind of like vermicelli noodles in that they're round and kind of thin. This lime might not have a lot of lime to it. Ugh. Ugh, I just got the oil. The lime oil. Okay, like from the skein. It's hot, so I gotta blow on it. There used to be a Russian guy who would wash my ramen mukbangs every single week. And on days when I didn't have a ramen mukbang, he would comment, when are you doing a ramen mukbang? And I would tell him, every Friday. And he would still comment, when is your next mukbang? When is your next uh, ramen mukbang? I do not see him in the comments anymore. Um, yeah. So I am going to close that Q&A video this week. This week, uh, this weekend, I mean, and I will be answering some of them. I have no idea. Um, mm. good bite of ramen. It tastes like nothing else. It's like spicy and salty. It is umami. I don't know that it's sweet, but it's spicy. It's salty. It's limey because of me. It's noodly. Ooh, and these noodles are cooked perfectly. Mmm. I want to whack myself in the face again. I wish the broth would cool down quicker. I should go get an ice cube and put it in. But I don't really want to get up. If I get up for more lime, I'll get up for ice. 
Mm. So tasty. This is a good one. It's got a nice basic flavor to it. It's not, there's not, it's not like a seafood flavor. It's not, I guess it, it kind of is a kimchi flavor. It's kind of just a nice chili, uh, Asian chili spice to it. Um, the nice soy sauce to it. How are you gonna treat me? <laughs> The broth is kind of a little styrofoamy, <laughs> probably because it's sitting in styrofoam. It's got a nice kick to it. Woo! <clears throat> and it's so funny that like the spiciness of these ramens like sits on the top. It's like oil and stuff like that, and then you stir it up, and it kind of turns just to like a broth color. I don't think I would uh, put it at the top of my list. I definitely need to try that soon one. I need to see if there's more kimchi ramens. Or maybe not, because then it's just going to be a freaking top five list of my favorite kimchi ramen. Where, like, I like seafood ramen too. Excuse me. tiny bit of this water because it's cold cold I just want it to be not so hot I'll drink it more freely I think I kind of prefer the paper cups because I feel like they don't have quite that styrofoamy taste love when ramen has like some pieces of green onion or carrot or some sort of freeze dried vegetable. It's just temperature wise very, very warm. Adding just that much more water like took down the spice level by so much, it's crazy. It's still spicy, but it's like a very it's just a very nice spice. For me, I like I like a little bit of spicy. Any more noodles? Any more noodles? Oh. Got just a bit more uh, broth left. I'm just gonna try to cool it down.
blowing on it did not help. <laughs> oh yeah. I wish you could like burn off fat. That would be great. Just just like to eat really spicy stuff and your body just like drop the fat. Sadly, I don't think that's how it works. Okay. I was, I'm, I was so happy today when it was like a little bit cooler of a day because I wanted some ramen mmm <sighs> All that spice at the bottom. Mm. You gotta put the lime in it though. Just by itself, it's not quite right. <laughs> not that it's not quite right, it's just not the flavor I want. And then once I add the lime, it's like, ooh, girl! You just gave me all the flavors. I had to get that last little drop out of there. And we're done. Delicious. Oh, excuse me. If you guys enjoyed this ramen mukbang. Oh, and this ramen is from... It does not say. Maybe it's on the lid. I like Paldo's made in the United States, so. You wanna bet, you guys? Oh, it's from Korea. I'm wrong. My bad. Koreans just know how to know how to do the ramen though. Alright you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button. You hear the dogs, they're like, oh she's done. I'm only done with one video, fools. Got one more to do. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you like to see more. I make new videos Monday through Saturday. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Great rest of your night. Bye. Mm. Ah! It's okay. I knew that was going to happen. Can you please bring me a couple paper towels? I just... Got fucking boy. No, never mind. I gotta get up and wash my ring off. I fucking knew it from the moment I sat down. I was like, I'm gonna get soup on my hands.